So we followed numerous areas of science in making this important decision. One, of course, was how the virus behaves. How much virus do you still have that you could potentially transmit after five days? And we generally know that most of your transmission potential happens in those one to two days before you have symptoms and those two to three days after. So by the time five days of isolation has occurred, you probably have about 85 to 90 percent of all of your transmission potential behind you while you've been in isolation. And many people are asymptomatic or only mildly symptomatic, especially those who have been vaccinated or boosted. And so they may very well not be able to or willing to comply with 10 days worth of isolation. So this was really a way to tell people, make sure you isolate in those first five days when you're maximally infectious. And then of course, wear a mask for those last five days to make sure that you don't spread anything that might be left over to others. So, you know, what we have right now is science that looks at the decay of the virus, how much transmission is happening during that period after you've been infected. And what we know is the most transmission happens in those first one to two days before you have symptoms, and then two to three days after you have symptoms. And that's really about 85 to 90% of all the transmission that could occur. And that's really when we want to have you stay home during those first five days.